Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this art lesson. So for today we're going to be looking at manipulating images through exaggeration and altering possibly the form. So you guys are going to have two drawings to come up with in this October uh, month. So we have our first one being a normal pumpkin. So an easy way to draw a pumpkin you start off with kind of like a weird oval cucumber type of shape and then you build on the sides and then you build on the next part of the sides until you get that round pumpkin forming. So your first drawing is going to be a simple pumpkin. Uh, you can do some shading on it like that one image here that we have just to the right. Uh, you can do some coloring as well if you want to like the image on the left. Now again these are just a couple of options. Again you want to keep your first drawing like a normal uh, looking pumpkin. So I want to make sure you guys are working on the basic shape. Now your second drawing is going to be a bit different. So your second one is going to be your weird pumpkin, we're going to call it. So this one here, you can manipulate the shape of it. You can make it really long and crazy. You can make it really huge and wide. Uh, you can make it flat and dented in, that type of thing. So you're altering the form of the pumpkin. There's some examples there too. Pumpkins aren't perfect, right? The ones that we find at the grocery store, right? We always pick out the ones that are nicest. Or sometimes we pick out ones that are really weird looking just so that we can have a fun time carving them. So we got a couple of examples here that are showing not just changes in the form, but also facial exaggerations. So this is a great example combining both together. We have that uh, screaming face, right, with the Trump hairdo, right, it's combining design and form. And then same with the other one, we have an exaggeration of the eyes and the mouth and the teeth. And of course, the manipulation of the shape of the pumpkin. So some great examples there for you. So some more examples of form, right? We think about how our pumpkin is in terms of its shape. So we got some there that are Frankenstein, right? Uh, they grew them probably in a container and then they formed to that shape. Same with some watermelons. Uh, they're square, so they put them in a shape and they came out that way. So this is form. Uh, and then of course we've got some gourds and some other types of pumpkins down there. Uh, so if you do want to take a different type of pumpkin uh, or melon or whatever it is, as long as it's Halloween themed, should be good. So that's what I'm talking about when we're looking at examples of form. Now with design, right here we have some cool examples of design. We have uh, an over-exaggerated face. Again, exaggeration is kind of what I want to look for in your designs if you're trying that. Uh, then we also have neat designs here like constellations being put in. Again, lots of it showing the whole night sky. And then we have another good example of exaggeration there with um, a very detailed realistic face, but then um, the features, uh, like the eyes are pretty big, the nose is big, the mouth, it's all standing out quite a bit. So they're kind of making certain talking points out of um, the image that they've carved into this pumpkin. So that's today's task. So you guys have two drawings to work on, right? Your normal pumpkin, right? The regular form, the regular design. And then your second one where you get to have a little bit of freedom. Just remember the words exaggeration, right? We're trying to exaggerate certain components like the eyes, the mouth, or whatever it is. And then, of course, thinking again about uh, form, right? You want to change around the form of your pumpkin, making it into a different shape here. Maybe like this guy getting hit by the basketball, right? So you want to change around the shape and you want to change around the design and exaggerate it a bit. Okay? So there's your task for today. Look forward to seeing you guys in class fairly soon. So until next time, happy drawing.